Have you ever driven through the countryside and noticed how almost every barn seems to be painted the same color, bright red? It's such a common sight that it feels almost natural, like barns were simply meant to be red. But have you ever stopped to wonder why? Why not blue, green, or white? The truth is, there's a fascinating blend of science, history, and tradition behind that iconic red color. It's not just an aesthetic choice. It's a story rooted in chemistry, practicality, and rural culture that dates back hundreds of years. Let's start from the beginning, back when early farmers didn't have access to fancy paint stores or ready-made building materials. In the 1700s and 1800s, most farmers built their barns using whatever wood was available and that meant they needed a way to protect it. Wood, when exposed to sunlight, rain, and snow, quickly deteriorates. It can warp, rot, and be invaded by fungi and mold. Paint wasn't a decorative luxury back then. It was a matter of survival for the barn itself. But because store-bought paint didn't really exist in rural America, farmers had to make their own protective coatings. So they mixed together what they had, linseed oil, which came from flax seeds, milk, lime, and sometimes rust. Yes, rust. The key to the red color came from iron oxide, the same compound that gives rust its reddish hue. Farmers discovered that mixing iron oxide powder into their homemade paint not only gave it a deep red color, but also helped preserve the wood. Iron oxide was plentiful, cheap, and effective at killing fungi and mold that could damage wooden structures. The combination of linseed oil and rust created a sort of natural sealant that hardened and protected the barn's wood from harsh weather. It was a practical, durable, and affordable solution. Three things every farmer valued. Now, why red specifically? It wasn't so much about color preference at first as it was about what was available. Iron oxide naturally occurs in the soil in many parts of the world, and it can range from orange to brown to deep red. Red pigment was one of the easiest and cheapest to obtain, unlike other colors that required rarer minerals or more complex dyes. For farmers who were trying to stretch every penny, red was the practical choice. Over time, that practicality evolved into tradition. Barns became red not just out of necessity, but because that's what people came to expect barns to look like. By the late 19th century, as manufactured paints became widely available, companies started offering a variety of colors, but red paint remained the most affordable. The pigments used to make red paint were still cheaper than white, blue, or green. So even when farmers could buy paint from a store, they stuck with red because it worked and it was economical. It became part of the cultural landscape of rural America, the bright red barn standing tall against green fields and blue skies became an instantly recognizable symbol of farming life. Interestingly, red also had practical visual advantages. In the snowy winters of northern states, a red barn stood out clearly against the white landscape, making it easier to spot from a distance. Similarly, during foggy or stormy days, the deep red color was more visible than plain wood or lighter shades. This helped farmers find their way back to the barn and made it easier for neighbors or travelers to identify a working farm in the area. So even unintentionally, the color red served a useful purpose beyond just preservation. Over time, the red barn became so iconic that it took on a nostalgic and emotional meaning. It wasn't just a color anymore. It symbolized home, hard work, and tradition. Artists, photographers, and filmmakers often use red barns to evoke feelings of warmth, simplicity, 
and the timeless spirit of rural life. Think about how many classic paintings, postcards, or movies feature a red barn somewhere in the background. It's practically shorthand for country. Of course, not every barn was red. Some were left unpainted and simply weathered to a grayish tone. Others were painted white, especially when white paint became more affordable in the 20th century. In some regions, farmers used whatever was available locally, leading to a few brown, green, or even black barns. But red remained the most common because it had such deep roots in practicality and tradition. There's also a bit of physics behind why barns appear so vivid in sunlight. The deep red color absorbs more of the sun's rays than lighter colors would, helping the barn stay slightly warmer in cold weather. That might not sound like much, but in the days before electricity or insulation, even a small temperature difference could help keep animals and stored crops from freezing. It was a simple but effective natural heating benefit. Today, barns don't need to be red anymore. Modern paints and sealants come in every color imaginable and can protect wood just as well or better than the old mixtures of linseed oil and rust. Yet, even with all those options, many people still choose to paint their barns red. Why? Because it's tradition. Because it feels right. Because that deep, rustic red is more than just a color. It's a piece of history carried forward. It connects modern farmers to generations past and serves as a visual reminder of where agriculture began and how far it's come. So, the next time you pass by a red barn, you'll know it's not just painted that way for looks. It's the result of centuries of ingenuity, necessity, and pride. It's science, economy, and heritage all rolled into one simple color. Red barns are living testaments to how humans adapt to their environment and how something practical can become iconic. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed uncovering the hidden stories behind everyday things, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Genosco. Hit the bell so you never miss a new discovery. Until next time, keep exploring the world's surprising backstories.